I always say this is the best piece of advice I've ever gotten because it is. Liz Fair, during that like sit down, let's talk to each other interview thing over Oatmeal, was saying that in order to make writing a record less daunting, it's important to write something every day, whether it be like big or small, good or bad. And that, I like, I feel like I get a lot of advice from people, but that actually like, that day we went to Guitar Center and bought one of those little like Vox headphone jack amplifiers and I was like in the car writing and I like wrote a song because because of that piece of advice and I do that every day I try to like sit down with the guitar in the van like and write um and it, it is like you know because writing a record is really hard on the on the mind and the heart um so just writing something every day so it just doesn't feel like a big deal is like a really big thing A really great piece of advice I got, I think about this all the time, never date someone that you think is cooler than you because there will be a power imbalance there and you'll always be like looking up at them like, oh that person is, is out of my league. Yeah, so dating, I mean as, as, as messed up as that sounds, like someone who's not, you don't have any reason to believe is cooler than you. Like someone who you feel like you're on equal turf with. I don't know if that's like backwards, but it, it's like been, Formative. Like, cause if you like, if you're like always just like, if you always feel like that person is just like way above you in, in life, it's just like, or like, or that can mean they just have like this like cool complex and you're like, that person walks around like they're cooler than everybody. I don't know. And that to me felt like really great advice. I mean, it's something that should go without saying that you would, would want to date people that don't make you feel small, but like, it's something that maybe you wouldn't necessarily do unless someone was like, hey, you should not date people who make you feel insignificant. Rihanna said, this is, this is not advice that I got, but Rih I, I, there was like a Rihanna tweet or something where she was like talking about how on tour you like, your, your like weight fluctuates. This is like really personal, but but that's something that I like, I remember that Rihanna tweet and just being like, sometimes you like your weight just fluctuates. So like you just like everybody else can just like feel, I don't know, you know, like I, it doesn't sound like a big thing, but like, you know, on tour you just like, you're sitting in the van all the time. You don't get to exercise. You don't get to have your normal schedule. And like sometimes like things don't fit the way that they did. And like sometimes you like look a little different in, in photo shoots and stuff. It's just like, I don't know. Easier said than done. But that Rihanna tweet kind of like, I think about it a lot. It said something like, sometimes my weight fluctuates deal with it or something, something like that. And it's just like, that's a sick piece of advice for the world. It's like, it's like, it, you don't have to look a certain way for someone as cheesy as that sounds. It's just like, taking care of yourself on the road is really hard. And that's advice that you get from everyone. It's just like, no matter what you're doing, as long as you're like looking out for yourself and your body, it's just like, that's, that's the vibe on tour. Didn't think I'd go that deep in this question, but here we are. It's a wrap.